ഹായ് അസ്ലാം വലൈക്കും വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടുഡേസ് റെസിപ്പി ഈസ് എ സിമ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് എ ഹെൽത്തി വൺ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഗ്രീൻ പൊറോട്ട ടു ഗീവ് എ ഗ്രീൻ കളർ ടു ദിസ് പൊറോട്ട ആൻഡ് ടു മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഹെൽത്തി ഐ എം യൂസിങ് ഹിയർ ഡ്രം സ്റ്റിക് ലീവ്സ് ആസ് വി ഓൾ നോ ഡ്രം സ്റ്റിക് ലീവ്സ് ഹാസ് ഗോട്ട് ലോട്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഗുഡ് ഫോർ കിഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് അഡൾട്സ് സോ ട്രൈ ആഡിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഡയറ്റ് I try to store my drumstick leaves in such containers and helps to stay fresh for more than one month. I have taken some drumstick leaves and then added sufficient water and then grinded it into a fine paste. This would be the consistency of the paste. Not so watery. So it's like I have added maximum of quarter to half cup of water to make it into a thick paste. To prepare this porota these are the main ingredients required some wheat flour then ajwain and then the grinded paste I'm using here 2 cups of whole wheat flour Then add 1/4 teaspoon of ajwain salt as per your taste just to give an exact measurement of the drumstick leaf paste i'm just measuring it it's almost 1 cup Now combine all the ingredients together and then make into a soft dough. For me here I have not added any extra water. The water from the paste was sufficient to make this dough. In case if you feel that the water is less, then you can add few drops of ice water. That's ice cold water. Now the dough is almost ready. To get more taste for this porota, I'm adding here some fresh ghee. This fresh homemade ghee for which I have uploaded my recipe earlier in my Kerala vlog. So do check out if you haven't watched. We need to add here 1 teaspoon of ghee, but I'm adding it in two batches. Firstly, add half teaspoon and knead the dough well. Now the dough is ready. Allow this dough to rest for at least 1 hour. Now divide the dough into 10 equal size balls. Dust in a wheat flour and then roll out each balls. Evenly spread some ghee and then fold as shown. then allow the porota to rest for another 5 to 10 minutes before cooking 
with the same dough you can also prepare chapatis so just showing one before removing from flame apply some ghee for extra taste so a soft chapati will be ready now moving on to preparing the porota just apply a few drops of ghee and then flatten the porota with your hands do not use a rolling pin When the porotas are almost cooked, apply some ghee and then remove from flame. If you wish, you can add more ghee. So now the tasty and healthy porota is ready. You can serve it with your favorite curries or fry. This is how I served. So do try out and then let me know your comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.